What would you say is the best Pokemon game? If you were to choose one of these, I'd say it's a pretty valid choice. Everyone knows this is where the Pokemon games peaked. Or maybe you'd prefer an open world game. In that case, you'd probably say something along the lines of Pokemon Legends Arceus or Scarlet and Violet. Maybe you don't like the mainline games and prefer the spin-off series like Pokemon Coliseum or the Mystery Dungeon series. And yeah, these are all great options in their own respective way, but I wouldn't consider any of them the best. Regardless of how great you think any of these games are, they don't come without flaw. Some lack a proper challenge, some lack a solid multiplayer, some are a glitchy fucking mess, but they all lack what I believe to be the most important part of a Pokemon game. Genuine adventure. And no, it's not exploring some bland open world like this. I mean something greater. Go grab some water because this might be a tough pill to swallow, but I wholeheartedly believe the best Pokemon game ever created is Pokemon Go. There's a reason people refer to summer 2016 as one of the best summers they've ever had. And no, it's not because they shot a gorilla. Let me take you back to a time before COVID was a thing, before TikTok was created, before you had to worry about gas prices or the economy or the inevitable World War III. This was a time where people didn't live in Discord servers. There was no such thing as remote learning and people did more than just bitch and complain on Twitter. Okay, maybe scratch that last one. This was a time when human beings had modern technology, but still knew how to live in the moment. This was the summer Pokemon Go released. Growing up, my brother and I were massive Pokemon fans. We played every game, watched every episode of the anime, and bought every piece of merch. But eventually, there came a point where we got bored. After Black and White 2 came out, we stopped caring about Pokemon as a whole, and it remained like that for about four years. Until one day, my brother showed me a video that would reawaken something inside of me. You're telling me I could be a Pokemon trainer in real life whenever I want. It, it sounded too good to be true and I was terrified that it would be, but that small dose of nostalgia was enough for me to give it a try. As Canadians, Pokemon Go wasn't released in our country for another month, but thanks to the power of today's sponsor, NordVPN, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding guys. Anyways, we used a VPN, probably Nord, got a hold of the Australian app store and got Pokemon Go a few weeks early. And oh my God, it was fun. For the first time in years, I actually wanted to leave the house. I'd go on daily bike rides trying to hunt down that rare Pokemon, and slowly I started to take pride of the roster of Pokemon I built up. This was a feeling I haven't felt since my early kindergarten years, back when I used to collect and trade Pokemon cards. The only difference was, other than my brother, I had no one else to share this experience with. That would change in a couple weeks though, because when Pokemon Go was released to the world, things went batshit crazy. Mobs of people swarming the streets, massive community gatherings, motherfucking news reporters playing Pokemon Go live on TV. Say what you want about Pokemon Go, but you can't deny the fact that this game had a grip on society back in 2016. This game was for everyone. Avid Pokemon lovers, ex-Pokemon fans, working class adults. This game brought a sense of community that no game has ever managed to accomplish. Before 2016, Pokemon was seen as that nerdy children's game. But after Pokemon Go launched, it let everyone embrace their inner child and enjoy something that they held very dear to their hearts so long ago. Unfortunately, this is where the game peaked for most people. Once summer came to an end, Pokemon Go players started dropping like flies for more reason than I could count. The biggest reason being Hillary Clinton. They have Pokemon Go to the polls. Just kidding. The biggest reason being summer was over and people had to get back to their lives. Another reason being that a prejudice was built up against Pokemon Go due to players trespassing or worse. The one that killed the game for the hardcore players was the lack of progression. No battle system, no new Pokemon, no incentive to keep playing. That and you couldn't take more than 5 steps without spotting another Rattata. But regardless of Pokemon Go's downfall, the game didn't end there. Over the next few years, the devs over at Niantic were motivated to keep improving the game, adding new generations, a proper battle system, and being able to trade Pokemon. I can keep going, but I'm sure you guys get the idea. And now, even though it's not nearly as popular as it was before, Pokemon Go finally feels like an authentic Pokemon experience. This brings us back to our original question. Is Pokemon Go really the best Pokemon game? Objectively, not at all. It lacks a proper gameplay loop, has no challenge, completely devolves the battle system into tapping the screen till your thumb snaps off, the devs are so out of touch with the fanbase it's almost laughable, and this game is basically useless if you don't live in a big city. But I still love it. Taking down gyms, conquering local landmarks, getting your friends to join in on a raid battle, finally getting enough candies to evolve that goddamn Magikarp. 
These are all such amazing feelings of accomplishment that I've been fortunate enough to share with my friends over the past few years. Despite his flaws, Pokemon Go is the only game that made me feel like I'm Ash Ketchum. You don't count. I probably sound like a broken record by now, but I explored so many new places, met so many cool people, made so many memories that I wouldn't have made without this game. So back to our original question, again. After taking some time to think about it, I've come to the conclusion that Pokemon Go is not the best Pokemon game. Nowhere near it. But it is the best Pokemon experience. And that goes such a long way. In terms of the actual best Pokemon game, it doesn't feel right choosing just one. In terms of the mainline games, there's a lot of good ones. You can never go wrong with the DS era. They have the most memorable Pokemon, the most beautiful sprites, great storytelling, and a good challenge. My personal favorite being Pokemon Platinum, because the Distortion World was just so fucking cool. But objectively, I'd have to say Heart Gold Soul Silver. This game features not one, but two entire regions. You also get to use Pokemon up to Gen 4, which is new for the Jota games. And this game arguably has the best final boss in all of Pokemon. If you're bored with the standard Pokemon formula, you might like something more open. Sword and Shield was a fucking disaster. Scarlet and Violet were better, kind of. But Legends Arceus hits different. Being a Sinnoh fan, I do have a personal bias here, but this game took Pokemon in a different direction that no one could have ever seen coming. For the first time ever, we had to worry about dying in a Pokemon game. It makes you realize that the Pokemon world is a lot scarier than it's put out to be. They also made slight changes into the battle system by adding strong and agile moves and a turn system to make combat feel fresh again. Not to mention it has a pretty good story as well. And don't even get me started on that grueling three stage final boss fight. For the spin-offs, I haven't played too many of them, but I'd recommend the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, specifically Explorers of Sky. These are probably the Pokemon games with the most personality. You get to see how the Pokemon live without humans. It's a top-down dungeon crawler, so the gameplay may be boring at times, but I promise you, it's worth it in the long run. So, back to our original question. I'm starting to see a common trend here. What's the best Pokemon game? We've narrowed it down to these four, and I think I know my answer. Drum roll, please. The best Pokemon game is... Who cares? It doesn't matter what's the best. That's the point I've been trying to get across this whole video. Pokemon Go is clearly a garbage game in terms of gameplay, yet so many people love it. To me, it doesn't matter if the game's good. It matters if the game's fun. You may like a super tough challenge, and someone else may just want to explore an open world. Maybe your favorite game is Pokemon Puzzle League, and in that case, seek professional help. Pokemon is a series for everyone. That's what Pokemon Go taught me at least, so trying to define a single best game for such a broad audience doesn't sit right with me. I believe the best Pokemon game is the one you enjoy the most. It's as simple as that. These four are all my favorites in their own different way, but I can't put one over the other. However, I do have a personal connection with Pokemon Go. This game's given me so many great memories over the past few years, so if you haven't played it in a while, download the app and go on a walk. Explore the real world. Catch Pokemon, battle gyms, make friends, and make memories. I promise you won't regret it. So, back to our original question.